is Robert Fox, and what we're going to talk about today is voice over internet protocol, and a lot of the misnomers about VoIP. VoIP is a platform for delivering phone calls or services to an end user or an end user experience. And there's a lot of misnomers in that many people believe that VoIP should equate to free phone calls. Well, yeah, there's a lot of service providers out there that bundle unlimited packages into a VoIP platform. However, the way that they're able to do that is by delivering the service in a much more efficient way than old traditional PD TDM service. Let me give you an example. Voice over Internet Protocol. In a traditional environment, which is what's called a TDM, you have your local exchange, you have your PSTN, which is the Public Switch Telephone Network, and then you have your receiving local exchange or your termination local exchange. This is your ILAC and this over here is your ILAC. Now for most of us in the United States our ILACs are companies like AT&T, Verizon, Quest, um, Embark, Frontier. These are examples of ILACs that could very well be your local exchange carrier. ILEC stands for Incumbent Local Exchange Carrier. Now, what does a voice over IP protocol enable the end user experience to do is eliminate this aspect right here. So the traditional pathway of a phone call would be ILEC to PSTN network, PSTN network to termination ILEC. VoIP can go straight from, because this is your VoIP provider. So what they're going to do is they're going to take that call path and they're going to run it over the internet, bypassing this equation right here, and then terminating it to this equation over here. Now, if you happen to have an environment where you have like a VoIP to VoIP call, like for example, a Vonage to Vonage call, you're completely eliminating that entire transaction and you're just moving cross platform. Now, that environment, there really is no termination cost or anything associated with it. What you're really eliminating with a VoIP call and how your efficiencies pick up, though, are right through this part right here. The termination aspect is still going to be there, so there are costs involved for voice over IP companies. However, um, probably unbeknownst to the average person, business lines generate on a monthly basis across platforms, um, across ILAC platforms, about 230 minutes of long distance usage. Okay? So, one thing that a, that a voice over IP company can do is they can buy these minutes at fractions of a penny half a cent, depending upon where they're terminating at, and maybe, you know, as much as a penny per minute, okay? So what the voice over IP companies are really betting and what they're really saying is, we can charge X amount of dollars, for example, $25 a month, that seems to be kind of a, a round baseline number, and we know that across our network, they're going to do 
about 230 minutes of long distance usage. Now at a penny a minute, that works out to $2.30. That's what we're going to have to pay. So, with all of our other operating costs, this is going to roughly generate about 10% of our cost will be here. Now, some of our customers are going to be, you know, up here in usage. Some of them are going to be down here. But we know across the platform, this is the, the, use, the, the usage number that we're going to have to live with. About $2.00 and 30 cents in usage. So I can market this product at $25 and still have $23.70 in net operating capital to run my network on, to um, put my services out there on, and and still make a profit. Um, that's why oftentimes when you get into larger commercial areas, yeah, maybe the technology that the underlying carrier is using is voice over IP, but they're not going to bundle together your um, unlimited calling plans. Those are going to be reserved more for your small home uh, office uh, or even um, residential type of packages. Um, now that is the basis for how the, the marketing plan of a, of a voice over IP solution works. We can talk about some other applications also, and we'll get into those in our next uh, meeting, where we're going to talk about what is voice over IP, what are the different options that are available for you as an end user experience. Uh, voice over IP comes in different flavors. You can get a hosted solution, which means all of your technology resides off-site and all you have are phones and an internet connection in your office. You can get a um, internal voice over IP solution type of, of circuit, which is like an asterisk box. And basically you in that case, you do need a TDM interface, but then you have to ask yourself, something like that's going to be more practical for multiple site locations, or if you have employees that work remotely. Or you can get a voice over IP solution, which is just a, um, the handoff on it is a uh, TDM handoff, or it looks and smells like a TDM handoff, but the underlying technology is voice over IP. Again, keeping in mind, VoIP is just a vehicle for technology. It's not an end user solution in and of itself. There's a lot of different types of varieties of voice over IP. To say that I, I want to get a voice over IP system is really like saying I want to get a car. Well, you know, there's a lot of different cars. Do you want a pickup truck or do you want a sports car? We'll go over some of the different options at our next go around. For now, my name's Robert Fox and this has been Voice over IP 101. I hope you enjoyed it.